so today uh, it's gonna be like another episode of cooking with Tati. Um, we're going to make my mom's rum cake. We're gonna start off with doing 350 degrees for 50 minutes. So let's go ahead and do that. 350. Okay, so while that's baking, we're gonna go ahead and add the yellow cake mix. I went ahead and got just the great value um because you know it really doesn't matter it's just yellow cake mix then you need a box of yellow which i know there's like a ton of yellow pudding mix but yellow vanilla pudding mix and i got this kind which is the same thing you know it's just cheaper and then um we're gonna go ahead and add these mixtures together so let me get a big bowl Oh my god. Okay. Okay, literally. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna get a big bowl and then you're gonna oops. No, oop. Okay, and then you're gonna mix the yellow cake mix and do not follow the instructions on this. Follow the instructions that I am telling you to do or else you will totally mess up the cake. Okay, and then we're gonna open this with our fingernail. God. So glad that that didn't spill everywhere. All right, cool. All right. Okay, so pour all of that in there, and then next we're gonna pour the um, pudding mix in there. Timber's trying to go downstairs. Pup, quit! He's harassing him. Okay, so you're gonna pour in all of that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw away the box because you do not need the instructions on the box. You need the instructions of my mom recipe is what I'm telling you. Okay, then you're gonna add your instant vanilla pudding mix. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a hole in it. Oh, it ripped. Okay, I ripped it. My bad, guys, I ripped it. Okay. Okay, then you're gonna add both those. Okay, so after adding the two powders, you are going to add one half cup of rum. So let me go, and I go like a little heavy on the rum, I'm not gonna lie. So I use white rum. You cannot use um, brown or dark rum because it will not taste right. It'll taste totally different. So you're going to go ahead and do one half a cup, one half cup. I'm using Bacardi Superior. So this would be, this would be a half cup, and then I'm just gonna pour like a little bit more in there. Okay, after that, you're going to um, put in a one fourth cup olive oil. And then, let me see, so one fourth cup. And then instead of using all, I mean, I could use olive oil, you can use olive oil if you want to. I prefer to use avocado oil because it's healthier for you and it literally tastes the same, so why not? So one fourth of olive oil. Sorry, it's like a CD habit. I always have to like dust and shit. Okay, and then my dad always taught me, you know, like it's okay, I like to go over a little bit over the brim because you know what? There's some stuck at the bottom anyways, baby. Okay, so that is a one four. I had to put a bell on timber. That's that's what that bell is. Okay, so one fourth um, cup olive oil, and then you're gonna do um, one fourth cup of butter, which is eight tablespoons, which is eight American tablespoons. You're gonna make sure it's melted, and then you're going to go ahead and. Um, add that to your mixture. So let me go ahead and warm that up and I will be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I'm about to add the country spread 
I said, uh, how much was it? It was um, one fourth cup of butter, which is eight American tablespoons. So I do a lot. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, so literally you're gonna put a whole fucking coffee mug of butter. Love that. Okay, then you're gonna... Then you're gonna put it in your microwave for about 30 seconds and see how that does. Stir it up, put it on for another 15 seconds. If not, it's gonna explode everywhere. So this is the what the mixture should look like before you put in the butter. I can't wait to go show you guys after the butter. Okay, so after melting the butter, it kind of looks like this. And then we're just gonna go ahead and pour it in the mixture, look how good that looks. Make sure you get all of it. After that, we are going to beat four large eggs. I went ahead and prepped it for you guys because I didn't think that you guys wanted me to, you know, crack eggs in front of you. So, four eggs oh you can't can't really see them but anyways here's the four eggs about to beat them ruthlessly yeah just like that great 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 love it love it love it Okay, after that, then I'm gonna go ahead and pour that into my cake. I actually, okay, so I made rum cake yesterday and it was kind of plain, so should I add more rum to it? No, let me not, let me not, let me not. I'm gonna ruin it. Okay, cool, so I whisked it. I would say you guys want to see me pour it in there. Oh, and I, oop. Cool. Okay, so after we put the beaten eggs in there, then we're going to mix this for three, for three minutes. And this is what it should look like. It looks beautiful. There's the butter, there's the egg underneath there. That's the pudding mix. Underneath that is the cake mix. I'm so excited. 350 just beeped on the oven, so that is literally perfect. Um, you can literally set it. You don't even have to preheat it. You can set it as you're making this. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and beat this for three minutes and then let you know how that goes. <laughs> I am making a mess. I literally cut my hand yesterday on accident. And so I don't want to hurt it. I'm not touching it though. I cut it trying to make an OF video making a cocktail and I literally cut my freaking finger on a, um, on a thing of, what is it called? On a big old thing of um, pineapple juice with my Balibu. That's so sad. Oh, this smells so good. Not even gonna lie, this smells so good. I'm supposed to stir it for three minutes. I need an egg beater. Someone buy me an egg beater. Okay, so next you're going to pan or butter or whatever your pan. 
my mom would normally tell me to do this outside but guess what mom i live in my own apartment and i do not care if my floor gets greasy and i know that's too much because even my mom tells me that's too much but do i want it to stick to the pan no so then after you spray down the pans you're going to crush up your pecans like this because i do not have a nut chopper Okay, then you're going to put it in the bottom. You're gonna put it in the bottom of the cake pan. Like this. And if you wanna see, I'm making Andy make me a um a bookshelf. So hopefully, ew, what's on my face? So hopefully um that'll be a thing. All right, I can't even get this with my nails. Oh my God. Oh my God. I wish Annie was here. There we go. Hot girl shit, whatever you can do it on your own. Okay, then you're just gonna sprinkle your nuts around. Really the recipe calls for like you know, like two nuts, but I really am just about to pour the whole package in it. Look, look how good that looks. Oh my God. Like I literally only have this much left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the rest of the package in. Okay, throw this away. Close the microwave because for some reason I left it open. Okay, now it is time to, um, Go ahead and pour this in there. And I'm so excited. I just thought I could show you guys. Okay, look, this is what it looks like before. This is the batter before. Now, let me show you. Oh my goodness. probably one of the best desserts I love making okay and then I'm just gonna swirl it around a little bit yes I love that oh my god yes okay 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 let me stop two miles more in a ship Oh my god, that's so good. Literally. Wow. Okay, now we're gonna put her in the oven for 50 minutes. Okay, so this is what the cake should look like after you get out of the oven. Hopefully I don't burn myself because Andy doesn't want to help me. Yes, we're gonna set her right here. That was a bad idea. I need help. Okay. Okay, okay, so to make the glaze, you're gonna uh, need a pan. You're gonna get the smallest pan that you want. And then you're gonna turn the heat uh, to like medium, high, like six, seven ish, whatever. Okay, and to make the glaze, you're gonna have to, um, after you add one fourth cup water, one cup of sugar, and the one fourth rum, you're gonna have to boil it for one minute. But uh, you have to make sure to put the rum in afterwards or else you're gonna catch it on fire. So, what did it say that I need? 
Okay, so I need one fourth cup of sugar or water. cup of sugar and one fourth of rum. Okay, so this four kind of sugar I use. I'm just gonna go ahead and put um, two cups. It's probably, okay, so it's one, sugar okay and then you're gonna mix that up babe yeah. can you see if there's any butter in that glaze on your phone real quick yeah, I feel like I'm missing it up okay and then you're supposed to stir it You said yes, you'll, you'll do it? Okay. This looks so good. Get butter off the top. Yes. Okay, there should be no butter in the glaze. All right, cool. So no butter in the glaze. I want to go ahead and bring you. Okay, so we're going to have this boil for one minute. Now it's starting to boil around. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Where can you even see? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set a timer for a minute. See, is it already boiling it? So, I'm just gonna stir it, let it simmer. For about a minute. And then you're gonna take it off the eye and then you're gonna add one fourth of rum or however much rum you want to put in it, I guess. I always add a little bit of extra rum. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down a little bit. Okay, wow. I hope it's not like steaming on my camera. Okay, I gotta turn it down a little bit more. That looks so good. Okay, so timer is done. We're gonna turn off the timer. And then let's go ahead and 
get you back over here. Okay, I'm gonna take off the eye, turn off your eye, and then this is where you add your rum. So you're gonna get your what the heck is my Bacardi? Oh. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and get your Bacardi. It's one four. But I'm gonna add a little bit more. One fourth of the white rum. Into here. Oh, there we go. Looks so good. It does. Okay, then we're gonna continue stirring a little bit. I mean, I should not put it back on the eye. Yes. Okay, so I'm about to show you the before and after on the cake. So this is definitely the before of the cake. Now let's see after we add the... After we add the sauce. Gotta be really careful because it's really hot. Oh. There you go. And that's how you make rum cake. Yay! Okay. So this is the final result. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Um.